Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, the Hex Guy from NYC Razor here, and today we are back with week 6 of season 4 of the MPL, and this week we are going up against one of our really good friends of the league, Slick Rick Nixon. Go make sure to go check out his channel below, he's an amazing battler. Also go make sure to check out the MPL main channel down below, uh, where you can go see the game of the week, the round the MPL, the weekly recaps, power rankings, all that good stuff. So, uh, before we get into this battle, I do want to uh, talk about something real quick. After, um, uh, it is with a heavy heart this week after his long, hard dedication to the New York Matangs and the MPL that we say goodbye to one of our really good friends and one of our good mons, Toxicroak, and as we welcome one of our new members of the New York Matangs, Reggie Gigas. Now, you may be asking yourself, why the hell did you draft Reggie Gigas? Reggie Gigas is a bad mon. Reggie Gigas is PU. It's not good. No. That's absolutely incorrect. Reggie Gigas is a very good mon. I love him. He, Reggie Gigas is actually probably one of my favorite mons all time. And, like, he, he does, he is a PU mon. He does have slow start, which has his attack and speed whenever he comes in. But it's so bulky and so strong and just has such a great move pool. That I, I thought it was going to be amazing in this league. like And it's going to have its debut match here today. You're going to see why I drafted it. And I feel like it's just going to be such a good mon. Because what I usually do on Showdown is I go into the team builder. And I just go down all... Just scroll down the list of mons. I just look for mons that like I've never seen in a draft league before. And want to see if they have the potential to do it. And Reggie Gigas was at the top of my list. I feel like it has so much potential... So much versatility, and it's just going to be a great addition to this team. A lot more than Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak didn't do jack shit most of its games. <laughs> but I'm very excited. And against Slick Rick, uh, he didn't. He has a very strong rain team, but he did not bring the Politoed this time, so I'm pretty sure he he did not bring rain this week against me, which is okay. That's actually a lot better for me. I did bring Fralligator to try to take advantage of the rain. Uh... And I brought a Hagsworth set with me that I'm pretty sure is going to be able to sweep his team. I have Double Dance sub Hagsworth with Mono Attacking Outrage because he has no Fairy Types on his team and nothing on his team wants to take a plus three Outrage from a Adam and Hagsworth. I don't think anything does. <laughs> so we're just going to get into the match here and... He's going to start with Slow King. I'm just going to lead with Thunder Staring because that's the best match against his team. And he's probably going to team. I'm going to go for Volt Switch. He's going to reveal he's Whack and Berry. Uh, and I'm just going to go straight into Reggie Gigas. He's going to go for Psychic. That's not even going to do that much. I am heavily invested in Defense and Special Defense. He's going to go for Toxic Lock in my sub up. Now I'm going to go for T Wave. I'm going to get the Prowl's first turn. And I'm just trying to get the slow start off on Reggie Gigas. <laughs> now I'm going to go for a return. That did 23% to a defensive slow king and I'm probably 64 invested in attack and I'm impish so that's half attack it's about 80 attack only 64 EVs and I'm not even adamant I'm impish so right off the bat that's just ridiculous for Regigigas so he's gonna get a crit psychic this time I am just going to go for <laughs> another sub on the switch as he goes as he goes into his Kropat. Now my slow start is done. Now I have 160 attack and 100 base speed. So right here I'm just gonna go for the paralysis. I did live because I am defensive. I'm just gonna go for a return. I'm gonna straight up knock out that Crobat. That's just ridiculous. I am gonna go for a Thunder Wave on the Tangrowth here. I'm just gonna paralyze his entire team. Nobody wants to deal with his Reggie Gigs right now. And I am going to go over a turn straight up. That did 31% to a Tangrowth. That's actually ridiculous. Because <laughs> if you guys don't know how defensively bulky Tangrowth is, it's ridiculously bulky. So I'm just going to start whittling it down with returns. And I am getting this Tangrowth very low, which is really good for me. He is lowering my speed and does have the Leech Seed. But after this return, my Kilbay is just going to switch out into the Slow King here. That did 40% after Slow Start. And... Now I'm just gonna go into Haxorus because this thing has this slow king has nothing to stop my Haxorus in its kit. And I do have subs, so I can avoid T Wave and Toxic. I'm just gonna get Swords Dance. And this is pretty much uh game over. I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance here as he does get paralyzed. I'm gonna go for another sub. 
and he I thought he would go for some sort of status. I don't know why I went for another sub, but I thought I can get behind a sub set up more, maybe to kill him. Uh, but I am just gonna start spamming outrage here at plus three, and like I said, nothing on his team wants to take a plus three outrage from Haxorus, and the Lumberry is gonna get rid of my confusion. So I am gonna be able to sweep his entire team with the Haxorus with the help of Argus Regigigas. He had a great opening debut game, and it's just gonna get better from here. Regigigas is going to take this league by storm. Everybody told me, like, why, why are you drafting Regigigas? Why are you getting this Mon out of everything else that you can get? I'm like, because I feel Regigigas has so much potential to be good in this league, and I'm going to prove it this season. With the five weeks that we have left, I'm going to prove that Regigigas belongs in this league. I'm going to prove why he's a good Mon, even with slow start. But that was a very good game. Good game to Slick Rick. Again, go make sure to go check out his channel below, and make sure to go check out the MPL channel to catch up on all MPL content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please beat up that like button, leave a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more New York Matang's MPL content. Alright guys, I'm out.